so not the most brilliant day for it. A few clouds in the sky and it's supposed to be showery today but as long as it's not heavy rain you can do this sort of work when it's when it's damp. So what are we on today? Well we're on to the Harling. So I think I think it's a Scottish term. Um, I've said it before but in the south it's called pebble dashing so you've got this um, these, these chips here this is called coral color is coral it's actually um, it's called a different uh, name when it's bigger it's called spay chip but when it's this size I don't know why it's called coral um, you'll notice this little implement here this is a harling trowel so I'll show you how to use that a little bit later on but that's pretty critical for harling a harling trowel obviously um, so this is my mix so it's it's the same type of strength I make it a little bit stronger actually um, so it's slightly less than four to one so sort of three and a half to one um, and it's got to be the same fluffy consistence as your ordinary grey mortar mix. Um, I've added a little bit of um, SBR um, just to really bond it nicely to the wall. All my mixes have got SBR in it. Um, this is this is the cement, so you want it a white Portland cement, or actually this is. Hansen, just a brand name, um, but it wants to be white because that will make the chip stand out really nicely and obviously it's a lighter colour so so that's what we're going to do today so let's get on with this. Right. 
Right, okay, so the next thing to do is to just test to see whether we're ready to haul because it's all about the moisture content of the, the mortar. If it's too wet, it will sink too far in. If it's too dry, it won't stick. Get a little bit in your trowel and it's about flicking it. effective I like that color as well looks really bonny right on to the next one